Hi there guys, um, just thought I'd uh, do another video, a bit, bit of a, a different one for uh, for my channel, but um, just considering the uh, the new releases of the iPhone XR and I think the um, XS uh, that came out yesterday, just thought it'd be good for people to get a bit of a view on um, what's actually out there as an alternative. Uh, now I um, use this phone for, for work, uh, it's a Huawei, uh, or Huawei, or Huawei, I don't know how you say it, uh, Huawei maybe, um, Nova 3i, which is effectively one of their middle range phones. As you can see, it is very um, iPhone X-esque with the uh, notch at the top, it's a 6.3 inch screen, um, LCD, uh, but it has very good viewing angles, uh, face unlock, which uh, I'll just do now. There we go, so it's unlocked. Um, and like I say, I'm not a uh, tech reviewer by any stretch of the imagination, but um, I just thought it'd be useful for people to see what is actually out there um, in terms of you know aggressive price points because. I, you know, looking at the iPhone XS, I don't know what the XS stands for. Is it excessive price? Because, you know, well, what I'm seeing it's about sixteen hundred bucks minimum um, for that phone. Now, to put it into perspective, this was purchased for five hundred and ninety nine dollars, and it came with Huawei's uh, version of uh, AirPods, uh, which were worth two hundred bucks. And um, like I say, it has most of the features that uh, that you want on a phone. Like I say it's got face unlock. Um, it's 128 gigs in memory. Um, it's got a 16 megapixel back camera and a 24 megapixel front camera. Uh, it does actually have dual cameras front and back, uh, which they call their AI feature. Um, I'm not too clued up on what that that is, but uh, apparently it makes for, for much better photos. Um, it's a nice glass back. Um, obviously, it's a magnet for smudges and what have you. It's got a fingerprint scanner. Um, and like I say, I've put a, uh, a glass cover on this, which doesn't really um, add to the aesthetics of the phone. But it is very, very nice for the price paid. Like I say, you know, you can pick this up for six hundred bucks with a pair of AirPods free, um, and compare it to you know the phone that's uh, just come out. You know, uh, no doubt Apple make quality products, and I was an Apple fanboy for quite some time, but. You know, this is hard to beat at 600 bucks. Um, you know, it, like I say, it will do most users full HD screen. Yes, it is, um, you know, Android, so it does take a bit of getting used to. But, um, you know, for the money, you, you can't really argue. Um, what else can I say about it? Not a lot. I mean, I've only had it around a week so far. But uh, battery wise, you know, <laughs> this thing's nuclear. Um, I use it for work and I think by the time I get home I've still got probably about 60% of the battery left um, I can't you know argue with that it's um, it could go easily for a couple of days um, just with regular usage and you know I'm sure with um, a little bit of careful usage and also putting on the battery saving option uh, you know probably get three days use out of this thing um, it doesn't support fast charging though so that is a bit of an issue um, but like I say, you know, when the battery lasts as long as that, uh, you just chuck it in, you know, uh, to the charger overnight, and uh, and it's done and dusted. Um, Huawei do include this um, great little Perspex or sorry, rubber plasticky cover, uh, fits wonderfully on it, uh, protects it. Like I say you want to get something for the front screen, but um, you know, out of the box um, to include the um, the cover. And considering the aggressive price point, I genuinely I can't recommend uh, this this phone high enough. Anyway, uh, any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to ask. Don't forget to uh, share, subscribe, and like. And my apologies again. You know, this isn't a uh, supposed to be a tech review. It's just my opinion of um, you know what I think is a, an awesome phone for the money. Um, right, take care, guys. See ya.